seen anything like that in my life. <laughs> Oh god, that is funny. I, I'm laughing my ass off at it. Hey everyone, it's Adam. Coming at you once again. And can you guess just where we may be? I'll give you two hints. you where we are at we are on anthem of the seas with royal caribbean right next to the uh, schooner bar last night and actually there was a piano singer here last night and he was really freaking good it's nice and early in the morning so people are just starting to get up it was an exciting day yesterday we got on the ship yesterday today is april 8th Yesterday was Sunday the 7th, so today's Monday, April 8th, and uh, unlike our past cruises where we went to Bermuda, we are actually headed down to Port Canaveral, NASA, and uh, Royal Caribbean's uh, private island, Coco Cay. The sun is just getting ready to rise. As you can see, it looks beautiful out there. You see one other boat way out there? Look at the clouds. Awesome. So right now we are walking through the solarium, which is the adult section on the ship. Like I said, we are on the Anthem of the Seas, Royal Caribbean. And uh, this is gonna be a really cool trip. Uh, two reasons, well today, there is supposed to be a solar eclipse, which we are kind of about to see, so it's not gonna be totality or anything like that, but we should be able to see it at some point. And when we get into uh, Cape Canaveral, Florida, Right as we're pulling in, there's supposed to be a rocket launch. So hopefully we, 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 we're going to be able to see that. That will be really cool. Let me flip you around here and show you the solarium here. This place is awesome. Let's walk this way. I don't know why, but the video looks like it's getting a little bit glitchy. Hot tubs down here. Swing. Look at this. They have these uh, stepped infinity pools. Come here so you can see them. Look at that. Try to make our way that way. This was kind of a, a last minute trip for us. We only booked this like a month and a half ago, six, six, eight weeks ago. We booked this trip, we got an excellent deal, and we said, yeah, screw it, let's go. There's one set of hot tubs here. And there's another set of hot tubs over there. Like I said, this is the adult section. So no kids, we hung out here for a while yesterday. Went, uh, we saw a, a virtual orchestra last night. That was pretty neat. It wasn't my taste of music, but it was still neat to see. Like I said, you come on a cruise to do stuff that you normally wouldn't do. So that's exactly what we did. <laughs> and. Uh, then we went to, uh, they have what's called the Music Hall, which is a, a two-story uh, music venue 
and the band that was playing there last night was fantastic. We were there till after midnight last night, and uh, I didn't want to leave, but it was late and it was time to go. And it was a long day yesterday between the drive down to the cruise port and getting on the ship and all the excitement and everything that takes place with, uh, you know, getting on the ship itself. But we had a fantastic time. And, uh, oh, this is a eight day cruise, uh, seven nights. And uh, like I said, we are going to, uh, uh, we left uh, Cape Liberty, uh, Bayonne, New Jersey. And we are headed to, our first port is gonna be Cape Canaveral. And we're supposed to get there tomorrow. And then from there, we go to Coco Cay, which is Royal Caribbean's private island. And then from there, we are going to uh, Nassau, Bahamas, which I'm pretty excited about doing that. That's gonna be pretty fun. Good morning. Hey. Right now we are on the uh, indoor pool deck, the other indoor pool deck. This is the, the family pool deck, I guess you could say. And they have uh, two hot tubs here, along with uh, two pools. Let me just flip you around here. One hot tub here, another one over there. Got a little pool right here. And another one. Got the pool bar, which uh, we drank our fair share of the drink package last night. <laughs> or yesterday, I should say. There's a running track up top. We'll be checking that in a little bit. Oh, I'll throw my coffee cup here. Uh, there's 16 decks on this ship. Sorry about the wind. This is the outdoor pool deck. As you can see, we got another hot tub right here. The big screen TV. bar and there's something up there too we'll talk about that later now this is something that I want to go into uh, once we get into some warmer waters but this is a uh, I guess a lot of people refer to it as the toilet bowl. And what it is, is a giant whirlpool. You get in and it just spins right around. <laughs> I'm gonna try that, get into it, and just, for, just uh, relax and spin in circles. Last night they were playing at Indiana Jones and the dial of destiny, but it was just too darn cold to be out, too darn cold and windy to be out here to watch it. So hopefully they do it when we're down south and it's a little bit warmer. We got a Johnny Rockets right here in front of us. Come in here, get your burgers, milkshakes, whatever you want. So, all right, we are going to switch decks. I'm gonna to try to get out onto the bow of the ship. Uh, they said deck seven is how we get out there. I may run down and grab another coffee first. Okay, we're rock walking right now through the back section of the Royal Esplanade, and this is where a lot of the uh, jewelry shops are. All the fine watches, some really nice stuff. In fact, I like, uh, this is Brass and Bach. This is uh, like an old timey style pub. It's really cool.
This is the music hall. This is what I was speaking about last uh, before. The band that was here last night was awesome. Two stories, dance floor, bar, bar downstairs, bar upstairs. We were standing on that corner over there yesterday, watch, last night watching. This, this is a fun place right here. We had a really good time. <laughs> I can't wait, I can't wait to come back. It was really cool. So. But uh, I was walking through these shops yesterday and they have some really nice watches, but I'm really afraid of, let me turn you around here. I'm really afraid of uh, the prices of them. I haven't asked yet, but we'll see what happens. And uh, today they're having a GoPro sale at 10 o'clock. So I'm curious to see what they are, the prices are gonna be when they do that. Here's a quick look down the elevator shafts. I hope you can see. Casino Royale right now. Shut down because it's the morning. This is on deck three. That's where all the table games are. And this is where our uh, stateroom is also. We are on deck three, we have an ocean view room, which I'll be showing you guys later on. Craps. See a lot of small boats. We're only like 25 miles off the coast, I believe. It's actually one that just crossed. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right out there. Small little boat. All right. Well, let me give you a little uh, uh, tour of our stateroom cabin. There's the door right there. Go around, we have a, a like a king size bed. And we have an ocean view room. TV on the wall there. Plenty of closet space. The bathroom's right there. We can look out and see the ocean. <laughs> Pretty nice. Looks like we're fucking, we're doing about 20 knots right now, which is about 23, 24 miles an hour. Sea's pretty calm right now, it looks like. You can see some boats way off in the distance out there. I know on the other side of the ship, there's a crew, another cruise ship coming up past us. So that's it. <clears throat> Pretty nice room. I'm I'm happy with it. Looks good. There's me. <laughs> yeah, I make myself laugh. I'm sorry. Once again in the uh, indoor pool area. 
I believe this ship was actually built for Europe, like in the Mediterranean, so that's one reason why they have the big indoor pool areas, because of the cold weather out there. It's about 10 to 7 in the morning right now, and it is April 9th. Like I said, we're supposed to be pulling into uh, Cape Canaveral today, Florida. And on top of that... Morning. On top of that, uh, there's supposed to be a rocket launch today, like I was saying yesterday. Uh, hopefully with this wind, that they're still going to have it, because it should be taking off right around the time that we uh, go, uh, we pull into port. Right there is a Solarium Bistro we've eaten in there a few times. You can tell that the boat's rocking a little bit because the infinity pools here are moving pretty good. <laughs> Last night, about 11 o'clock last night, we were up in the hot tubs up here. It was pretty nice. This is the Sunshine Bar. Got quite a few drinks from there today, or over the past two days. All throughout the ship you'll see these little hand washing stations to help keep everything sanitary and a lot of people most of the people use them too all right we're going to walk back out we're going to head back down to the room and see what kathy is doing see if she's awake yet There's our towel stand. That's where you get your towels for the day. We're gonna head in here and go to the uh, elevators. There's the stairs to go up and down the ship. And we're at the elevators. We'll head down to deck three. All right, we are in the Windjammer, which is the buffet. And this place is huge. I'll walk you through after we eat. But there's my breakfast for this morning. And there's Kathy's. And we are on the back of the ship, overlooking the ocean. And this has pretty much a 270 degree view. Some of the pastries and desserts. Asian foods. If you want a fresh omelet, they'll make it right here for you. Your grains, your parfaits. All the fresh fruit that you want. What are those? They look really good. What is that? Looks like so I don't even know what that is. Oh, salmon on a bagel. It looks really good. I won't eat it, but. I don't 
don't even know what a fig is. Prunes, pears, cantaloupe, pineapple, grapefruit. All your lunch meats. There's anything and everything. If you could think about it, it's probably here. All right. There's a Starbucks. Thanks, you too. Is he dressed up as Mario? <laughs> yeah. He's dressed up as Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you too. You didn't notice that? No, I didn't notice that. Oh, yeah. Alright, the C-Plex is open now. This is the uh, indoor sports complex. Right now, they're having pickleball. Up on the... They run uh, bumper cars in this area. You can see them there. Up on top, there's table tennis, air hockey, there's an Xbox uh, game room. There's basketball nets that drop down. You can play basketball in here. Actually, I think they're having a three on three tournament. Here's the uh, C-Plex Hot Dog Hut. If you like hot dogs, you get them with all kinds of toppings. It's not open right this second. Up there is table tennis, if you can see. The air hockey's over there. Here's the Xbox uh, game room. And I'm not sure what that is over there. I think that might be another table tennis back over there. We'll try to get up top. There's steps over here. Let's walk up top and take a look at that. We got cornhole over here in the corner. Oh, I know. Foosball table. They were also doing a uh, laser tag here yesterday. They have a big uh, blow up thing. Here's the arcade, which is kind of bleak if you ask me. Buy your credits. But they were doing laser tag in here yesterday and uh, they have like one of those big blow up houses and it takes up the entire sports complex and uh, they were doing laser tag. That was pretty neat. As you can see here, foosball, air hockey. Some more bumper cars. Table tennis. So we're gonna overlook the court. Like I said, you can see the basketball nets they're up in the ceiling right there. Uh, I think they do have three on three tournaments here. I think I remember seeing that in the schedule. Is the uh, Xbox uh, playroom? Pretty neat. I 
Like I said, there, there's always something for everybody on the ship. There's always something going on at some point all throughout the day. So there's never, if you're bored on the ship, that's your own fault. We are gonna head up to the ripcord to see if they are doing the skydiving simulations. get stuck to the top. <laughs> Either that or plop down bottom, it doesn't, you know. Like Willy the top. Yeah, there you go. The walk invader. Yeah. Oh no, the fizzy lifting drink. That's where you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the bottom of the music hall this is where um, we were watching the band iconic playing and they are fantastic <laughs> took a few 
few shots from up top there, but this is down the bottom. This is a really, really fun place. And I think they have like uh, dance parties here and stuff like that too. So, but yeah, the band that was playing, that's playing here is awesome. Pretty neat, pretty neat. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head to the room for a little bit and I'll catch you later. We're pulling into uh, Cape Canaveral right now. And if you look, this is uh, Kennedy Space Center that is right behind us. And if you look way back there, you can see where the uh, uh, shuttle uh, launch pedestal thing is. And the rocket launch for this afternoon is still on. So hopefully we can catch that. We may see nothing, we may see something. There it goes. There it goes. the ship here and I figured I'd show you the uh, main dining room this is one of them pretty snazzy this is what it looks like take a walk over show you the other side We are actually duck hunting. Kathy found one. She found a couple of them. If you know, you know. If you don't know what duck hunting is on a cruise ship, look it up. <laughs> it's fun. Gives us something to do this afternoon before nap time. <laughs> we are going to go up to the next deck and uh, look up there now. We'll see if we can find any. But that, uh, those were the main dining rooms. Those are the ones where uh, you have a set dining time and you have the same wait staff and the same uh, table all throughout your trip. Uh, we opted out of that. I mean, it doesn't cost anything more. Just that we typically do something different every night. So we didn't want to be tied down to a particular 
time that we had to uh, go for dinner or anything like that. And you don't have to go. I mean, even if you book it, you don't have to show up. But uh, um, we chose, it's called My Time Dining, which is in a separate dining room. And uh, if we decide that we want to go and have a sit down dinner, we could just uh, either call down or reserve on the app and go down and have a dinner at My Time Dining. Now this is Belarus, uh, Belarus, something like that. It's the Latin American bar, and they usually have Latin singing going on here. There's the bar there. Handstand. And they also show art here, also. Right here we have Jamie's Italian, which is a specialty restaurant. This costs extra if you want to go here. But uh, I guess it's an Italian restaurant, I'm assuming. Not too bad. Kind of reminds me of an Olive Garden style place and then right here we have vintages which is this is the winery I don't remember if I shot this the other day or not but this has a it has a bar in there and it's a winery and a lounge all different kinds of wine you can see them over there on the shelf Pretty snazzy. All right, so Kathy just ordered a drink from the Bionic Bar. Oh, it's right sick. She ordered a Malibu Bay Breeze. <laughs> shaking it. <laughs> yes, it's half your seat back there. Right there. No, see up there on the thing? <laughs> Walking to a uh, perfect day at Coco K. We have Anthem of the Seas right here on our right, and we have Liberty of the Seas on our left, which is the ship that we were on last summer. And hint, hint, we've already booked for next year. <laughs>
rickshaw. This is pretty cool. And the sun is peeking out. Up, up, and away, balloon. Yeah. I'll take some pictures. First time we've ever been to an island like this. Jet ski rentals. Like I told Kathy, I said the sand is weird here. It's like flower. That's the best way I could describe it. Oh, look at the pelican. Not the pelican. I don't even know what it is. Oh, look at all the fish coming in. <laughs> I can't believe that we're this close to them. Yeah, you, you walk on the sand and it's like, like I said, the, it's like the consistency of flour. It's weird. There's the floating cabanas. Now those things are pretty cool, the floating cabanas. Uh, I think they're good for up to like eight people or something like that, but they're very expensive. They're like $1,500 for the day. But it also comes with your own personal uh, waiter or waitress, and they serve you drinks all day long, bring you food, whatever you want. But they're they're really expensive. Now, if you had a whole gang of people, it might be worth it. But for uh, Kathy and I, yeah, we won't do that. This is awesome. This is Oasis Lagoon. Got a swim up bar. The other side, the little sit right here, sit down bar. This is a resort in itself. Look, it's like a golf course over here. You know, I've shot a whole lot of video. I might have to do like two or three parts on this video because it's going to be long. There's Chill Grill. That's the food place. And I believe that's included with your, uh, with the, uh, the cruise. So the food and drinks are, are free. Got some restrooms that way. Nice. We are walking the trail to South Beach right now. This is pretty cool. I think is this mangroves. I don't even know. It's a pretty neat hiking trail though. <laughs> well, I can't really say a hiking trail, but it would be different. <laughs> Let's see where we end up. It's like a maze.
uh, South Beach right now. And supposedly there's a floating bar out in the water. day here so far at Coco Cay. Uh, we just ate at the uh, Snack Shack, which everyone rants and raves about their chicken sandwiches, which uh, Kathy and I just had one. And uh, nothing real special. <laughs> it was a chicken sandwich. The bun was good. It was on a brochet bun, but not even sure what beach we are on. Chill Island is back up that way. Uh, the cabanas are right here not absolutely sure so but, uh, the woods a little rough not terrible we snorkeled for quite a bit but uh there's really nothing to look at uh, because of the wind they're not letting us out to the floating docks that are out farther in the cove uh, we can't go past the rocks and, you know, I saw a few fish here and there but nothing spectacular so no underwater footage today if there was something neat, I, then yeah, definitely I would have uh, grabbed it. But we're just, uh, it's only like not even one o'clock right now, and we're both freaking wiped out so far. So we're just kind of chilling out, walking around, drinking a strawberry daiquiri. So we came back to those hammocks that we found that were hanging in the mangroves, and now we're just gonna chill out here for a while. I got the yellow one because Kathy, of course, needed to have the purple one. <laughs> We're headed back to the ship. It's about quarter after two. Plenty, we had plenty of time here today. Going back to relax for a little while. We got Liberty of the Seas and Anthem of the Seas. And we've been on both. Walking in Port of Nassau, that's the Carnival Dream. Right here next to us. Anthem of the Seas, looks like Liberty of the Seas. And there's Carnival Conquest on the other side of here. And uh, there was another ship pulling in behind us, so I don't know which one that is. All right, around the back side, we got the Carnival Dream, the MSC Magnifica, and the Carnival Conquest. I was just telling Kathy, it's just amazing how massive these ships are. And we got the Liberty right there. Along with a beautiful yacht. Open it, I want to show you something. This tree here, look at this one if you want to. This tree here is over 200 years old. Yes, ma'am. You can step back so you can see it a little bit better. Hey, folks, you step back, you can see it a little bit better. This here tree is over 200 years old. It goes from the top coming down, finding its way to the dirt. It sows into the rock like a sewing machine. It's called a banyan tree. In Africa, you cannot cut it. It's sacred. They say when Moses those made sacrifices to the Lord, they built the altars under the those trees. If you look We're at the uh, Queen's Staircase. Morning. This is pretty cool. Is that steep? That was a uh, 
some kind of private tour and we just kind of tailed on the back for a few minutes. <laughs> didn't want to stick with them because we didn't belong. through this little marketplace here and uh, we just came up to the uh, Pirates Museum of Nassau. That's where we plan on going in. Let's see what it looks like. There's a little, quite a sketchy walk to get here because we came on the back streets and there's like no sidewalk and traffic is flying by. It was pretty, uh, pretty intense to say the least. So. <laughs> this is really cool. Take some pictures as we go along. go inside the ship. You dare see how pirates lived and died. True or false, the typical pirate ship was a two-masted schooner with a black hull. False. 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 Although some famous pirate captains created three masted ships. Very proud to listen to these favorites. Yes, It said that the carpenter would just uh, cut the arm off or whatever with a saw. The situation was made more dangerous and explosive by the pirate habit of being armed to the teeth whilst very drunk. The women pirates were more than capable of looking after themselves. You are the of being You look a mannequin. Oh, cool. I've never even seen one of those in real life. I don't even know what it's called. in here uh we just walked through uh, Junkaboo Beach Junkaboo I think that's called and uh I'm not too impressed uh pretty high pressure sales tactics they have people all over asking me for this for that for this for that and uh wasn't too thrilled about that and uh the water here even though it looks pristine and blue if you look down it's full of garbage I'm not too impressed with uh with this so far all right, we are coming up to Fort Charlotte. 
This looks to be pretty neat. It's pretty high up on the hillside here. I thought it was free, but it was $5.50 a person to come in here, so. Charlotte right now and uh, I don't know if you guys heard but I got in trouble for filming <laughs> so I had to put the camera over and uh, yeah so it was a uh, pretty interesting the uh, tour guide was very uh, brute I guess you could say is the is that a good word she was uh, you know if you're taking too much time she's like get over here get over here talk to me <laughs> you know, just like oh, okay so but it was interesting to say the least uh, seeing everything on how they did it it was a nice cool break for today because it is pretty humid and pretty warm out here so uh, we are gonna leave here walk down to the straw market uh, don't exactly know what that is but Kathy wants to go there so all right catch you later this is the I dream of sugar shack you hear about this a lot <laughs> It's like a indoor flea market type thing. We already walked through it once. And uh, high pressure sales tactics once again. Excuse us. You're fine. Up? We're okay. Yeah, Thank you. T-shirt, sir. I'm okay. Thank you. T-shirt, I have one. Huh? And it doesn't look like that. Slow down, guys. And the T-shirts, try fit. <laughs> I'm trying not to run. I'm sorry. I'm good. Thank you. Can I show you my shopping people? Shopping people? Just walking. Okay. Which one you pull? Stay right here. I'm going to run my car. I'm Mario. Hey, come here, baby. Don't mind me, Shabbat. Hey, come here. And that was just one row of the straw market. As you can see, it's a uh, pretty high uh, uh, sales pitches, uh, high pressure sell selling going on. Everyone's willing to wheel and deal and do something for you. But in the end, they're just trying to make a living. I get it, you know, but there's nothing that I really want. 
I've never seen anything like that in my life. <laughs> Oh god, that is funny. I am laughing my ass off at it. <laughs> Alright, I'm here now. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I think there was... I think a, a lady was trying to attempt to pickpocket me. Um, when we were watching that... Uh, that rap thing and the, the, the camera was going around in circles and they were taking video. She came up and like bumped into my side. I turned really quick. I don't know if I caught her on camera. I did turn the camera. And uh, she like had a surprised look on her face and she hurried away really quickly. Uh, quickly checked my pockets, everything was there. But uh, still, I don't know, it could be just me, but for how many people were in there, you know, when uh, there could have been a bunch of people in, I don't know. still got my wallet and everything like that so but just something to keep an eye on when you're in these uh, foreign ports like this you never know you never know so we are walking up we have a uh, reservation and uh, we're gonna be taking a ride on that the North Star let's get in line can you take us over and drop us on the other ship and then... <laughs> I guess we could, yeah. that'd be pretty funny <laughs> Incoming! We were on Carnival Horizon when it first came out. That was an old ship. Nobody hands off the door. I went on the Horizon too. Yeah. That's when we were on. June 2018. I went in June 2018, June 13th, 2018. June 21st, I think we were on. Right after, yeah. That's pretty cool. We're headed down now. All right, everyone. Our cruise adventure has come to an end. As you can see, we have all of our luggage packed here. We are just waiting for the notification that we can get up onto uh, deck five and leave the ship. It was a fantastic trip. Uh, first time we did a an eight, an eight, an eight uh, seven night, eight day trip, and uh, I think it was long enough. I don't know about doing the longer ones. <laughs> we're, we're ready to go home and see Remy, uh, pick her up from uh, puppy daycare. But uh, yeah, everything was great. Uh, we didn't get off the ship in Port Canaveral. We stayed on the ship. Coco Cay was absolutely fantastic. NASA was a shithole. Uh, granted we only saw a little snapshot of it but I didn't like it all that much <laughs> but either way it was an experience and uh, we're going to be doing it again next year because we have already booked another cruise so with that said we will be on Symphony of the Seas which is a ship bigger than this which is just going to be fantastic wait till you see it so with that said guys please like comment subscribe and we'll catch you on the next adventure out